Here's some notes on cell salvage or intraoperative blood salvaging. This is an autotransfusion method that captures and processes intraoperative blood loss for retransfusion into the patient. It has some advantages compared to allogenic transfusions. It has a decreased infection risk and you essentially eliminate the rejection risk because you're using the patient's own blood from their very own bleeding during that same surgery. The blood tends to have a preserved erythrocyte functionality because it's minimally stored. It's stored only briefly while you centrifuge it down and re-inject it into the patient compared to an allogenic transfusion that might have been stored for uh, several days. The disadvantages are that your platelets and clotting factors can be depleted. They can also be filtered out during processing and you may require an allogenic transfusion of these or recumbent products if you have a deficiency in clotting factors. The process, you use an extracorporeal discontinuous transfusion centrifuge. One brand name is a cell saver. I think that's the one shown in the background here. And it's managed by an anesthesia tech or an autotransfusionist, typically for high blood loss cases. One contraindication, two contraindications, infection or malignancy at the operative site. One possible transfusion is that you can have reinfusion of your anticoagulants. You can also get hemolysis, air emboli, or DIC as, compl as complications. And one last clinical consideration, you may need fresh frozen plasma or platelets in high volume cases to prevent or treat coagulopathies.